You got me feeling like a psycho, psycho. Don't, don't click off. They killing voice was crazy. Full panel reaction for the killing voice on the Patreon. Um, Red Velvet, man. It's... So first off, man, welcome back to the channel. I'm Nick. Welcome to Redemption 46 Studios. Y'all seen the thumbnail, y'all know why y'all here. Red Velvet Psycho performance video. I might jump into the live as um, a treat for YouTube as well. Um, if y'all have been here for a long time, y'all know how we feel about SM in general. We feel like, you know, they have a really good knack for like hip hop, R&B, and really just music in general. Um, the vocalists are crazy, the rappers are crazy. Um, Red Velvet just kind of bodies everything. Um, and that killing voice just was 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 a little different. Um, but uh, it had me missing some of the stuff that we did before from Red Velvet that we didn't have the opportunity to do either like live performances on, um, dance practices, or kind of like any of like the choreography videos and things of that nature. Um, so we definitely are going to be spinning the block back with a lot of stuff, um, especially in different formats. Um, like I said, the live performances, definitely would like to see more of the choreo battle stuff with them. Um, yeah, man. Uh, but no long talk. We can jump into this and have a conversation when we're done. Um, I just love seeing talented people just feast. And they, they really did their big one on that killing voice, man. That's like, that's how you come yeah. on.
<laughs> Hurt me. Got me feeling like a psycho. Make sure y'all subscribe, man. Uh, jump on the Patreon for exclusive Red Velvet that's up on there today. Uh, some block live performances, killing voices up. Um, and if y'all like SM in general, definitely make sure y'all up on there. Um, bodied it, man. Um, and it's crazy, too, because, like, um, we we talked about this on the Killing Voice. And I was saying how, like, they're sneaky good dancers. Um, and I'm, I guess maybe sneaky to me just because, you know, um, I feel like we've done a fair good amount of them. I feel like we've done, like, eight uh, MVs from them and stuff like that. Um, but just... I guess I don't hear them talked about as much as they should be. Um, even we're here just with the smooth transitions and just like how fluid everything felt. Like they really bodied everything and um, it just, it worked. Um, the vocal runs that they go on and the harmonizations are just some of the best, um, like ever. Um, like they layer themselves really well they stack perfectly on top of each other as far as like the vocal stuff. And um, it always, the, the harmonizations are so good that it highlights anytime someone wants to do a high note or anything of that nature. And like, I love that for them. Um, let me see if I can jump into the other one. But this, just phenomenal. Um, got me feeling like a psycho. Psycho. Make sure y'all subscribe, man. crowd right there in the mix. As a note, note. I 
I hear those little hints in the back, like, we'll be okay. also like it too because it was a little different um just you know i'm i'm trying to think of if i've ever seen anybody kind of that close to um to um like the audience and everything like that as far as like their performance and everything goes um it felt personal um like i said it felt like you damn near could poke uh, like a fan, how close they were sitting and everything. I like I laid back and how comfortable Red Velvet was too, to the point where like they can actually like laugh during the performance and everything. Made them feel more human and more relatable. Um, and just another showcase of the vocals, like the mics were on. Literally what I was talking about as far as like the harmonizations go and just how in sync they are when they're singing and everything. And it's just, you know, that... That's hard, man, um, especially in those grooves and how they're able to kind of jump out of everything and stuff. Like, it just it just works so beautifully, and it's a thing of just, like, you know, art just to watch it and everything. Um, so, yeah, man, definitely got to put some more respect on their name when it comes to, uh, like, talking about them. And I'm very interested to not only learn more information, but to get into the rest of the title tracks that we haven't had the opportunity to get into. Um, just even watching that Killing Voice, the title tracks that we haven't been able to get into so far, and even some of the B-sides, it just was like, damn, like, you know, you felt like we was missing out. Um, yeah, phenomenal group. Um, I, I said this during the Killing Voice tour, was saying, like, you know, this is, they're, they're one of those groups that feels like a pillar in K-pop, or feels like, you know, if you mention K-pop, you kind of have to mention them, uh, and that's that's big, especially for you know, as we get you know later on in life into a hundred years into K-pop, there's gonna be some groups that you can't like go past eras or can't go past uh, like what they meant to the genre, and this is definitely gonna be one of those groups. Uh, I'm happy that they're still outside, and I'm happy that I'm able to be around for like comebacks. And, you know, just able to kind of see what's up with the what's up. Uh, not to mention that I know the Redeemers are going to put me on some more stuff from them. Um, so, yeah, jump in the comments. Tell me how y'all felt about this. Definitely make sure y'all subscribed. Uh, more content from them will be coming soon. Also, make sure you guys jump on the Patreon. Uh, Killing Voices Up. More stuff from Red Velvet will be up on there this month as well. Love you, Redeemers. I'm going to holla at y'all. Peace.